Yo, what's up guys? This is your boy Bugs. In today's video guys, I'm just gonna show you how my new settings for Fortnite. Let's get into it. Uh this don't matter. You know I did this. There we go. My control setting X and Y. 780. I feel like it's the best. It's fast, but not too fast for you to not handle it. Um controller targeting 410. Scope 420. This could be lower. A higher sense is not the best when it comes to your sensitivity when you're aiming in. But I don't know. I just like to be able to able to move fast when I need to, you know? Um, for my building sense, I actually upped it up really a lot at uh, 1.450. Um, the best thing to do is to take baby steps. You do want your building sense to be fast and high. Um, just be able to do, you know, more stuff faster. I'm going to slowly start going up more, but right now I'm just going to be staying at 1.50 um, for the rest of these tournaments. Um, my editing sense is at uh, 1.350. The reason why is because even though I want it fast, I want to be able to control it to you know where I never scuff. So, like, it's good to, like, again, have these up really high, but you want to be able to you know be able to control it and actually have full control and not be like oh shit i messed up this time oh i messed up you know you want to be consistent with your building and editing um for these i have my hud scale at one um if you if you're getting annoyed by that little damage thingy where if you get you know shot by a shotgun for five damage it feels like you fucking died already <laughs> um you just bring your hud down but for me i just got used to it to where it doesn't bother me and i just look at my health to see you know what my health is so yeah um, then I have the regular stuff. I have sprint on default on for guys. The reason why is because I use L3 for something, which I'll get into later. Tap the sources for you not to hold down square, even though for the revive van, I believe you still have to hold it. Uh, reset build. I have this on just for the fact that I don't want to be stuck on something that, um, what, when I'm, when I get out my build mode, because if you're stuck on something, that means if you try to edit it, or try to edit like the thing that you're last on and not the thing that you're trying to edit. The thing is, make sure you have aim assist on. Yeah, there's people saying, oh, da da da. Of course, yada yada. And also, if you're new or if you don't notice, take this shit off. This is like the most retarded thing ever. Do not have this on. Unless you play on like a super high sense and you feel like it does help you, go ahead, but do not have this on. This, this screws up all your editing like to the max. Make sure you have this on. I think you need to have. No, nah, I think this should be on for anything, period. Turbo delete, doesn't matter. Auto chain, make sure you have this on so you don't have to physically. I manually, you know, change it yourself. Sorry for the barking, it's my dogs. And yeah, make sure this is at the bottom if you do have like a edit button that is your switch mode or whatever. Um as in for my controls. These are my controls. I have my crouch this so I don't mess up my repairs or with any other buttons with my editing, you know, with my reset button is R3, so now that I don't have to crouch, you know, and like scuff my editing anymore. Oh, my resets. I have my L3 here. My editing is my D pad left. The reason why is because I have a scuff, so it's literally my left paddle. And my right paddle is to change materials and change traps because I don't know what else to put it. Again, crouch, repair. Finally, um, my select is the same originally. Um, confirms the same button. Reset, crouch, same thing. As for my dead zone, um, if you feel like your dead zone, um, this is pretty much for new controllers. If you get a new controller, definitely bring your dead zone lower. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. Like when I say you're gonna love it, you're gonna feel like you actually have more control over certain things. It doesn't take you a long time to when you push it for your controller to activate. Now, if you are using a really old controller, just had a controller for a really long time, you probably want to have it at like 20 to 25 on both of them, just for the fact that, like I said, very low um, dead zones, it will cause drift, and that's not because of um Fortnite that's just because your controller um analog well it is because of Fortnite cuz it, it's sensitive to you know based on what you have it on so if you like i say if you do have an older controller make sure it's at 25 but if you do have like a brand new controller barely wear you don't really do too much to it like cuz it's like brand new definitely bring it down so you feel like you have more control over it and yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys i just want to be explaining the reason why i haven't been uploading the reason why i haven't been uploading guys is cuz i just been focusing really hard on these tournaments as you can see I'm just I'm in full I'm in full focus mode guys. I really try to make it at the moment. I don't want to distract myself by making these videos. I do know I do have supporters and people that do support me with my videos and streaming. And it's not me saying, you know, fuck y'all and all that stuff. It's just me trying to hit a goal where I, I feel like I need to put my all into it. As you can see, I'm not doing the best right now in solos, but as you can see my solos is actually improving. As you see, 21, 25. 31 so I'm actually going up in solos as for duos. I don't know what happened But as you can see I got a new duo and 
I actually did way better. I actually got top 115, as I believe it was. But yeah, guys, that's the reason why for me not uploading. I do apologize. Hopefully, I qualify this duo, you know, then I can start actually uploading because, you know, more people want to watch it. But other than that, guys, I will try my best, like I said, to upload here and there in Blue Moon, which is why I'm uploading today. And yeah, if you want to, you know, watch me compete in this, just check out the live stream. I'm usually on it. In finals, semis, I'm definitely not. I don't know. I feel like semis is like all over the place. But finals is more of the top players with the top points. So you definitely should see me in like two games, maybe even three. That's like far fetched, but yeah. And that's it for the video, guys. Leave a like if you like the video, comment about anything. You know, I love y'all comments. Always love replying back to y'all. Also, if it's your first time ever watching my videos, don't forget to subscribe button, guys. And I'm out. Peace.